last month. The government of India decided to deploy 4th Regiment of Brahmas missile in our northeastern state, Arunachal Pradesh. CCS Cabinet Committee on Security approved the request of raising a new regiment of an advanced version of Brahmas missiles to be deployed in Arunachal Pradesh at a cost of Rs. 4,300 crore. The regiment will be equipped with five autonomous missile launchers with command post. It would include 100 Brahmas missiles. But this deployment has caused a lot of anxiety and nervousness in our northern neighboring country. Few days after the news of Brahmas deployment in Arunachal Pradesh came out, China's People's Liberation Army PLA, declared it a threat to China and the boundary dispute. They went on to say that missile with updated capabilities for stealth and mountain warfare could threaten Yunnan and the Bet Autonomous Region Ta, provinces located across the border from Arunachal Pradesh. In an article in the mouthpiece of China's armed forces, military naval engineer Shang Yuyi declared India's move as beyond India's normal need for self-defense. Playing tricks, they are bound to suffer the consequences. Quote, he, however, acknowledged in the article that the deployment can't pose a great threat as it has a limited range of 290 km and cannot hit any target in mainland China. But then why China is making so much of fuss over this small step? After all, the range of the missile is just 290 km and it can carry a warhead of just 200-300 kg. Looks like the dragon is nervous. A brief introduction of the missile will help us understand why. Brahmos is a state-of-the-art, highly advanced, supersonic one of its kind missile in the world. This short-range ramjet, supersonic cruise missile was developed under joint project of India and Russia that started in the late 1990s. During the Cold War, instead of a conventional subsonic cruise missile, USSR developed an unconventional supersonic cruise missile that can evade American aircraft carrier's defensive setup and destroy it. It is important to note here that USSR never undertook the development of aircraft carriers. Seriously, towards the end of Cold War, four Kiev-class carriers were built, one of which was Admiral Gorshkov, which is now in service with Indian Navy, to tackle American threat from aircraft carriers. USSR successfully developed supersonic anti-ship cruise missiles that could evade American carriers' missile defense systems and destroy it. The aim of Brahmos project was to develop an Indian version of P-800 Onyx anti-ship missile. Initially Brahmos was developed as anti-ship missile for Navy but later its success and abilities moved Indian armed forces to push Brahmos aerospace to develop a land-based and air-launched version of the missile. Closing parenthesis, in a theoretical study, 16 ripple-fired Brahmos missiles can take out U.S. Navy's most advanced Ali Burke class destroyer. Unlike other cruise missiles like Tomahawk of the USA and Baba of Pakistan that fly at a subsonic speed of 500-600 kmph, Brahmos can touch an astonishing maximum speed of Mach 2. 8 roughly 3,400 kmph. Though its range is limited, just 290 km and it can carry a light warhead of just 200 to 300 kg. Its ability to maintain supersonic speeds while skimming at low altitude makes it very difficult to detect and intercept. During the last leg of its flight, just before hitting its target, Brahmas performs S maneuver to evade any anti-missile defense system. Brahma's kinetic energy gives it an edge in terms of stealth, hit probability and better target penetration characteristics, making it a deadly weapon. One can only imagine the impact a target would have when a 3-ton 28-feet-long missile carrying a 300 kg semi-armor-piercing warhead flying at speed of 3000 kmph hit it with pinpoint accuracy, SEP of 5 meters missile will tear the ship apart. Brahmos was first tested in June 2001 and later was deployed successfully on Rajput class destroyers. In 2004, land attack version from mobile launchers was tested for Army and it completed the testing in 2009. To complete its satisfaction of the end user, since then, three regiments have been commissioned and deployed.
The 4th Regiment will have the TESS version of a missile that was specially designed for mountain warfare. It was first tested in April 2014 in a steep dive come target discrimination mode that enables the missile to take out selected targets hidden behind a mountain range accurately. This is what is bothering the Dragon. China knows that India has no territorial designs. India is ensuring that its armed forces have the necessary equipment and infrastructure available to thwart any Chinese aggression. In any short swift war such deadly, accurate and stealth weapons will be of immense value to destroy Chinese command and control centers, firepower centers, radar and air defense sites etc. This would change the course of the conflict. Though China is acquiring one of the best missile defense systems S-400 from Russia but Brahma's very small RCS radar cross-section supersonic speed coupled with S maneuver and low flying altitude makes it extremely difficult to track and intercept. The only possible anti-missile system that can possibly stop Brahma's single or ripple fired effectively is Barak-8. An air-launched version of the Brahma's named Brahma-A is also being developed. Brahmos A will be 500 kg lighter than its army and naval versions. It will weigh 2. 5 ton and will carry a warhead of 300 kg. First demonstration flight of Su-30 MKR carrying Brahmos A was conducted on 25 June 2016. Su-30 MKR had to undergo structural modification and its undercarriage had to be strengthened. IF will equip 40 Su-30 MKIs with Brahmos and has already deployed Su-30 MKI squadrons near China, border in northeastern part of India. Equipping Su-30 MKI with Brahmos A will allow IAF to deliver the deadliest punch with a sap of 5 meters deep inside Tibetan Chinese province Yunnan. All frontline warships of Indian Navy have already equipped with one or two eight cell UVLM-4 Brahmos Block I and two missiles. Navy has already been doing long patrols and with the signing of Logistics Exchange Memorandum of Agreement LEOMA with the USA, it will give access to both IF and Navy to US overseas naval bases. Though the LEOMA is for few specific reasons like joint military exercises, training, port calls, humanitarian missions and other military activities that both sides mutually agree to undertake and every access request made by one country will be accessed and approved rejected by other country beforehand. This agreement does not facilitate easy and unlimited access to each other's bases. But the Dragon will not rule out the possibility where these bases could give necessary logistic support to Indian vessels or fighters to carry out an operation against Chinese mainland. After all desperate times call for desperate measures, the present Indian government has demonstrated clarity about India's objectives in every field, and is bold enough to call a spade spade. Since 2006, half-hearted decisions were taken to equip armed forces to counter Chinese threat but now this process is on the fast track. Earlier we were just looking at the Chinese string of pearls encircling us but now India is turning the table on Chinese. For last 50 years, China has been supporting and equipping Pakistani armed forces with various weapon platforms. China also helped Pakistan with strategic weapons and missile development. It provided nuclear weapon designs to Dr. A.Q. Khan and facilitated missile designs from North Korea in lieu of nuclear technology. CIA provided photos showing PAFC-130 delivering the hardware at a North Korean airbase thus helped Pakistan getting both the weapon and the delivery system. China has been closely working with other countries like Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Maldives etc. to gain port access there. That is how the term string of pearls came into existence. Now this string is getting reversed with India ready to sell Brahmos missile to Vietnam and Philippines, with whom China has a dispute over the South China Sea. The possible sale of Brahmos to these countries has already created ripples in China. As per China Topics 1, the People's Liberation Army Navy plan has no defense against India's Brahmos supersonic cruise missile, the fastest anti-ship missile in the world, and India is intent on selling these world-beating missiles to both Vietnam and the Philippines.
Dot. The surface-to-air missiles on planned warships such as the FL-3000N will be almost useless against a volley of supersonic BrahMos hurtling towards a Chinese warship at Mach 3. The current generation of planned ship-borne SAMs can only effectively engage anti-ship missiles, traveling at half the speed of BrahMos. A future customer of both naval and air force version of the missile would be Japan and Taiwan. A hypersonic version of BrahMos flying at 600 kmph is already being developed and should be ready in five to seven years. Keeping BrahMos Aerospace's track record, the deadline of five to seven years looks realistic. They have always delivered on time.